Hi guys, it's Saturday and before I start pouring, I have my paint all set up, but uh, I wanted to show you the big one, the big 40 by 40. It has a tiny little bit of dusting of uh, glitter on it. And this is one I made a while back, but I know how everyone wants to see the dried pieces. Well, it's dry. And as you can see, all the uh, cells are nicely kept nice and round. They didn't do anything weird. And the uh, glitter is, when you put it on the wet paint, it sort of fixates in the paint. And even if you do this, it, it doesn't come off. You don't see any glitter at all. And when you look over it, you see the glitter. And of course, this has, still has to be varnished. But usually I do that when someone buys it. So this one's still for sale. It's uh, 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. And I sell them for 129 because uh, that's euros because I have to uh, pay uh, extra for postage because it's that big. So that's that one. Now, um, another thing I did was um, I did some watercolor on 200 gram uh, drawing paper. And uh, I love the effects. Don't know if you can really get in there close. And yeah, there it is. See the effects? It has this really washy, washy kind of look to it. And here you can really see the uh, the in intensity of the colors. Let's see if I can get you in there. So um, what I did is I ran it through the printer, and I have. Um, uh, of course, I have that laser print. Oh no, the yeah, laser printer. But I haven't really installed that one yet. But this is done with a uh, inkjet printer, and I know that almost everyone has an inkjet. And I had trouble running my 300 gram paper through it. It wouldn't take, and it just jammed everything, and uh, that was really uh, a mess. But this paper, 200 grams, and let me show you what that is because maybe it's on there too in um oh yeah here uh this is the paper so it's uh this is the uh brand it's fabriano fabriano peratisti see that's my uh, italian i think i don't know could be french <laughs> um and it says inkjet so you can run through inkjet uh, it comes in 50 sheets, it's 200 grams, it's A3, that is an international standard. You have A4, A3, A1, so that's an A3, it's, this is the size. And it's, it's used for drawing design, but I used it for watercolor and it gives awesome effects. And um, I ran it through my inkjet printer. I put a mandala on it, I, you know, just the half of it. I, I sort of like that. So you have this all showing and then there's just the mandala. And um, well, I'm pretty happy with it. Here I, I ran it through and I put the uh, seahorse on it. That is kind of, uh, well, I'm seeing a messenger thing. Sorry, Jacqueline, I can't tell you more about myself. I'm not in the dating scene. <laughs> <laughs> that just popped up. Can you tell me some more about yourself? Sorry, I can't. <laughs> uh, guys, I get a lot of messenger requests for people uh, wanting to befriend me. I've I've told you this in the past, but it has not slowed down. It's about, I think, about mm, 50 to 100 a week. And I know where that's going to lead to, because if you do, if you... Um, do the friendship thing on messenger well I'll get everything normally that I get in the comments will sort of slide to messenger so I'll get all these questions about pouring uh, acrylics and uh, really guys at the moment I don't have time to do that because I work like uh, a lot so um, then I get them on messenger I get people doing the same on Etsy I get my mails I get my it's crazy it really is. I, I do enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's a little overwhelming and even my emails, I can't really, I can't answer them all. It's just crazy stuff. Okie dokie. But as you can see, perfectly uh, for the uh, inkjet printer, you can just run it through it. And then even if you were to um, tone down the print, you can do that. You can um, run it through and you put the opacity of the print to like 10 percent 
then you'll see a really light shadow and you could even come in back in with watercolors and just paint that on top of it and that is you know if you don't have um, drawing skills um, and even if you do have drawing skills sometimes you don't want to get into um, perfectly drawing something and you know you, you're just into the coloring so then you can run it through your printer you can get these prints off uh, pixabay.com um, they are uh, copyright free you can use them for everything you can even use them to sell them that's the deal on pixabay.com so if you've never been there go take a look I'll uh, put a link uh, in the first comment of this uh, video so you can find it uh, because usually when I name that site a lot of people don't know about it because everything on the internet is copyrighted you can't just take off an image and think oh I'll just use that and uh, that'll be fine no it's not fine it's all copyrighted but pixabay.com is um, they exclusively made that website so that people could um, share what they made uh, without copyright limited things so uh, it is nice you know when you pull something off there you have this little donate button when you go to the person's um, uh, part of pixabay you see all their drawings and then next to their name you have a little um, button that says buy a cup of coffee so if you download something that I don't know you're gonna use a lot or you're gonna make money off it's nice to just give them a cup of coffee something like that right okay enough about this I'm gonna put this away I'm gonna set up my paints and um, I'm a little nervous you can see me here this is me here wait a minute there is me hello <laughs> okay I know I'm hysterical I don't think so but um, I'm gonna set everything up and I'm pretty nervous because I'm gonna do a big pour I'm gonna try and do that feather thing you know up and down up and down but I have a new idea so let me surprise you be back in a second <laughs> 